It's time for spelling analysis. Are you ready? Today we get to use our advanced phonogram E. Can you say that with me? E. So if I do this and I say use the advanced phonogram E, I mean this one. One last time, what does this say? E. All right, let's begin together. The first word is everything. I think that we have packed everything we need. Everything. Go ahead and say everything. How many syllables in everything? Hmm, 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 hmm. That's right, there are four. We will say to spell ev, er, e, thing. What will we say to spell? Ev, er, e, thing. Let's do that one more time since it's four syllables. Ev, er, e, thing. All right, the first syllable is ev, e, v. The second syllable is er, er, the er of her. The third syllable is e, e. Use a yeah, e, i, e. The third syllable is thing, e, n. Go ahead and write ev, er, e, thing. You've got it, just sound it out as you write it. Sounding it out loud so that I can hear you. Ev, er, e, thing. Good, help me to write it. The first syllable is ev, e, v. The second syllable is er, er. The third syllable is e, e. The third syllable, is, or fourth syllable is thing, e, n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er. And what sound of ya, e, i, e did you hear in everything? That's right, the fourth, e. We'll talk about that in a moment. We'll underline the th and we'll underline the n. Now, what two words do you see make up everything? That's right, we have every and thing. It's a compound word between every thing. So every is a word, and there, Y is saying it's E sound at the end of a multi-syllable word. Let's read it. Ev, er, e, e, n. Everything. Outstanding. The next word is began. We began in September. Began. Go ahead and say began. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell began. What will we say to spell? B gan. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is B, B E. The second syllable is gan, G A N. Go ahead and write B gan. Sound it out as you write it. Excellent. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is B, B E. The second syllable is gan, G A N. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the E. Why did the E say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. Let's read it. B, E, G, A, N, began. The next word is begin. What time will we begin? Go ahead and say begin. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell begin. What will we say to spell? B. Gin. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is B. B, E. The second syllable is Gin. G, I, N. Go ahead and write B, Gin. Sound it out as you write it. Good. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is B. B, E. The second syllable is Gin. G, I, N. And how will we mark it? Put a line over the E. And why did the E say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. Let's read it. B, E, G, E, N. Begin. What do you notice about began and begin? You're right, they're related. I began today. I began yesterday. So when we make this one to be in the past tense, we change the I to an A. The next word is summer. It is almost summer. Summer, go ahead and say summer. How many syllables in summer? Hmm, hmm. Two, we will say to spell some mer. What will we say to spell? Some mer. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is some, s, 
a uh, m. Mm. The second syllable is mer. M er. Use the er of her. Go ahead and write some mer. Sound it out as you write it. Excellent. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is some. S a uh, m. Mm. The second syllable is mer. M er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er. Let's read it. S a uh, m mm, m mm, er. Summer. Excellent. The next word is people. How many people are coming to the party? People. Go ahead and say people. How many syllables in people? Hmm, hmm. Two. All right, we will say to spell pee, pull. What will we say to spell? Pee, pull. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is P, P, E. There it is. It's the advanced phonogram, E. The second syllable is pull, P, U. Silent final E. Go ahead and write P pull. And if you've forgotten how to spell the advanced phonogram E, just take a peek and I will give you a hint. Good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is P, P E. The second syllable is pull, P U. Silent final E. All right, how do we mark it? Well, underline the advanced phonogram E. And then, why do we have a silent final E in people? What would happen if we didn't have it? You're right, that syllable wouldn't have a vowel. Every syllable in English must have a written vowel. Let's read it. P -e -p -o, people. The next word is tongue. His tongue is red. Tongue. Go ahead and say tongue. Now, we will say to spell tongue. What will we say to spell? Tongue. All right, let's sound it out. T, a, n, g. Did you see that? It's a two letter g. And what will we need? You're right, we'll need a silent final e. Let's do that one more time. T, a, n, g, two letter g, silent final e. Go ahead and write tongue. Sound it out as you write it. Ah, uh, yep. And help me to write it. T, a, uh, n, g, silent final e. All right, how do we mark it? Well, underline the g, and what sound of g, um, g, gua, g is this? It's the second, that's right. And we'll double underline the silent final e. Now, why do we have a silent final e in tongue? You are right, English words do not end in V or U, therefore add an E. When we have this phonogram, gua, ga, at the end, we will always need to add a silent final E. Now, instead of saying tongue, we say tongue. And O may say a uh, next to a W, T, H, M, N, or V, there it is. Let's read it, t, a, uh, n, g, tongue, tongue, excellent. This would be a great one to ask your parents or your grandparents, why is this spelled this way? I bet many of them have no idea that there's a two letter g sound to spell g like that, and they won't usually know that English words don't end in v or u. So you explain this one to them. The next word is rough. The sandpaper feels rough. Go ahead and say rough. Let's sound it out, er, uff. That's right, it's that phonogram, uff, spelled with four letters. Do you know which one? Go ahead and try it, er, uff. And help me to sound it out, er, uff. And how will we mark it? Well, underline the uff. And what sound of a, ah, o, u, ow, uff, off? Do we hear in rough? You're right, the fifth sound. Let's read it. Er, uff, rough. I just realized I made a mistake. This says g, gua, and I think I inverted the sounds for a moment. So let's, uh, we don't put a two over it, right? Because it says g, gua. So do you ever make mistakes like that? Even I sometimes make mistakes or momentarily forget something. It's just part of learning, it's okay. All right, the next word is distance. 
There is a cat out um, on the field in the distance. Go ahead and say distance. How many syllables in distance? Hmm? Hmm. Two. We will say to spell dis tance. What will we say to spell? Dis tance. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is dis. D I S. Use a s. -z. The second syllable is tance. T A N S. Use a k s. Silent final e. You're right. Dis tance. Go ahead and write it. Good. Dis tance. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is dis. D I S. The second syllable is tance. T A N S. Silent final e. And how will we mark it? You'll notice we have a silent final e in distance. Why? Because it made the c soft. Say it soft sounds. The c says it soft sounds because of the e. Let's read it. D I S T A N S. Distance. Excellent. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.